to Mr. Meyer's Mad Magic. I'm Mr. Meyer, and today we're going to be talking about uniform versus non-uniform probability. So what is the difference between uniform and non-uniform probability? Here I have two stacks of cards. These, there is a uniform probability of choosing either black or red cards because there are two black cards and two red cards. So this, I will place right here for uniform probability. For non-uniform probability, there is not a le uh, equal likelihood of choosing both black or red cards. So looking here, I see that there are three red cards and only one black card. So the probability of choosing the black card is lower than choosing there. We can look at the specific probability on the left, looking at the probability of choosing a black card. There is one, two black cards out of four cards total. So using the formula of desired outcome over the total number of outcomes. I know that my numerator is 2 because there are two black cards and my denominator is 4 because there are four cards in total. I can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 2 and that equals 1 over 2. I can also express this as a decimal by dividing how many times 2 goes into 1, which is 0 0.5. Now I can take that 0 0.5 and multiply it times 100 to find the percent, which is 50%. And now looking at the non-uniform probability. Here it's uniform because it's 50% chance of you choosing a black card. It's the same thing if you choose a red card because there are the same number of possibilities, or two. So it's the same fraction being two over four, simplifying to one over two, also being 0.5. Now looking at the non-uniform probability, looking at what is the probability of choosing a black card, there is one black card out of four cards total. So using desired over total is one over 4, which equals 0.25, and then multiplying that times 100 equals 25.0%. Now, as of right now, I don't know that this is non-uniform probability because I've only calculated the probability of choosing a black card. So now what I need to do is look at what is the probability of choosing a red card. So I know that there are three red cards. So starting with three over, still four cards total in the total number of outcomes. So three over four, which when I do this division, it's 0.75. Multiply that times 100 equals 75.0%. So here the probability of choosing a black card is 25%. The probability of choosing a red card is different from that. It is 75%. And that's why this is non uniform When you have a full deck of cards, all 52 cards, the probability of choosing either a red card or a black card would be equal because there are 26 red cards and 26 black cards. But as you're choosing cards randomly, first card I chose was black. At that point it was a 50% chance that I would cho choose black, 50% chance that I would choose a red card. So now the next card that I choose at random is black. So now that I have two black cards that are not in the deck, it is more likely for me right now to choose a red card than to choose a black card. Because there are more red cards in the deck than there are black cards. So choosing a card at random, there is a red card. Now, there is one more black card that is not in the deck than there are 
red cards. So it's more likely for me to choose a red card right now. Choosing card, and there it is, a red card. So as of right now, this deck is exactly half red and half black. So choosing card at random, it has an equal chance of it being either red or it being black. And there is a red card. Now for this next one, there is more of a chance for me to choose a black card, but because there's still 52 cards in total, it is still a high chance that I would still choose a red card, possibly. And there is a red card. Now there are two more red cards that are out of the deck than black cards. So most likely, that card will be black. Continuing to do this, oh, there's a red one. Now there are two more red ones out than there are black ones. Most likely will be black, not always. So now, there are two, four, six red cards out and only three black cards out. How much do you guess that the next card is going to be black? And there it was, another black card. Continuing to do this, now there's still more of a chance for it to be black, but there it is, another red card. And you can continue doing this. Now when people are playing poker and certain games like that, where they have a preference for picking certain suits, like either hearts, diamonds, spades, or clubs, knowing how many of those cards are left in the deck out of how many cards total are left in the deck generates what the pot odds are. So say I have five clubs in my hand, four clubs in my hand, and I want to get five clubs. I know that I need one more club and that there would be eight more clubs in the deck. So then eight clubs in the deck out of the total number of cards that are in the deck, say there are 36 cards left in the deck, what would the probability be of me choosing a club? There are eight clubs in the deck out of 36 cards in the deck total. Taking a minute, writing your answer down before we come back to check it. So, the probability of me choosing a club at that point would be 25%, or one-fourth, because it's 8 as the numerator over 36 as the denominator. I know that I can divide both of those by 8, and that equals 1 over 4, or 0.25, which as a percent is 25%.